Hey, what's up everybody? Tony with Lalita Loca and I'm here doing the hard work today. Today I solve Carnival's baseball hat issue. That's right folks, back with another episode of Dear John and this Dear John is going to be controversial. Uh, if you have a weak stomach, if you get motion sickness, if you don't like a little conflict, you might want to click away and go watch the Baby Shark video one more time. Do, 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 do. Today we are talking about hats. Today we're talking about baseball hats. And today we are talking about hats in the dining room. Now, if you are unfamiliar with John Held, he is the brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Lines. And he runs a really lively Facebook group where people can go and pose questions, pose concerns, and often they pose complaints, uh, and I have, uh, I've taken to looking at this page. It is really interesting from a cruising industry perspective because you can, get your, you can get your fingers on the pulse of what's going on by seeing how John, the saint that he is, deals with all these people on his Facebook page. And so here is the latest letter written to John uh, that we're including here in Dear John. Dear John, the situation I was in today made me so upset, John. I'm on the glory. I was sitting dinner with my husband. One of the men on the table right next to us was wearing a Marines Vietnam veteran baseball cap. I told him politely that the etiquette rules in the States require him to take it off. He chose to ignore me. I told the waiter and I told him to tell the guest as he was serving him too, but he did nothing. He should be disciplined for this. Not enforcing the rules will be Carnival's undoing. The whole thing was a disgrace, John. Dear John. All right, normally I just let it go. I just let it play out. I let you guys react in the comments to the situation. And I tell you what, if you follow this thread over on John's page, I'm going to leave a link in the description to it. It is lively, so you can imagine some of the responses you got a, a whole lot of, how dare you? How dare you say anything to the person who served the country? Let that poor man wear his hat. And then in the minority was a few people that said, just follow the rules, people. And uh, that if there's no baseball caps allowed in the dining room, then this gentleman should remove his hat. Now, a lot to unpack here. First and foremost, uh, I am a big advocate of people who serve the country. My father served, my brother served. I have uncles who served. Uh, we lost an uncle in Vietnam. I have nephews that are serving. Uh, much respect uh, and honor is due to people that serve the country to give us the freedom to uh, go on cruises, the freedom to make these little videos, the freedom to do so many things. And rightfully so, uh, people said, look, people who serve the country should be able to do what they want. Now, however, I just wanna say, of all the people that I know who serve the country, this is not the attitude that they have. I have I've ran into almost zero veterans who come at you with the, oh, I serve my country, therefore I should be entitled to do this, that, or the other. Uh, I think it's okay if that's an honor we bestow on them, but to think that that's the way these people think, I, I think is uh, wrong because uh, I've not met anybody who served the country that wears it like an entitlement. So I just wanna say that. Uh, so many conversations are about honor and duty and just doing your part. And uh, to me, that's, that's the special thing about people who serve. They come with that attitude. And uh, secondly, these are folks that are all about following the rules. Now, if the national anthem was playing, I would say that the person wearing their hat most likely would have removed their hat for the national anthem. So it, it, it's not those things. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is the way that we like to devalue people. If we look in that chat, in that uh, back and forth, uh, people who held the opinion that you should remove your hat were called all kinds of names. And the people that said you shouldn't remove your hat were called all kinds of names. Here's a news flash. All those people have value. The person that doesn't believe you should wear the hat and follow the rules has value. The person that has an opinion that says you, you should bend the rules for certain people or certain circumstances, they have value. So you got to get that out of the way. So if you don't do anything else, it's just going to be a big argument about people who both have values with differing opinions. And guess what? That's why rules were invented, because we live uh, amongst other people and not everybody thinks the same way. And so the rules are there to guide us. 
And so here's the rule. The rule says that if you eat in the main dining room, you cannot wear a baseball cap. Now, I'm not wearing a baseball cap. I'm wearing a hockey cap. It's a baseball style. We all know that hockey is better than baseball. We all know that the Nashville Predators are better than the Detroit Red Wings. I'm not going to judge you. Like I said before, everybody has value. Now, some people are just wrong. So baseball fans, non-Predator fans, you're just wrong, okay? But this is considered a baseball hat, and according to the dress code for the MDR on Carnival cruise ships, it's a rule. You cannot wear this to dinner. So if you are going to wear this to dinner, you have to decide that you are a rule breaker, that it was a rule that was meant to be broken, and you have to be happy with that. So if you own it, that's fine. Welcome to it. But here's the deal. I, there's three options, okay? Carnival needs to change the rules and allow baseball caps in. Because the person who, who expects not to see baseball caps, no matter whether you think that that's a valid thing to expect or not, because of the rules, that's a fair expectation. And so when somebody goes in and they know that they're not supposed to see baseball caps and they see baseball caps and the world is now in chaos because people aren't following the rules, it, it's valid. I mean, people, it, it is valid, right? And then also there's people that want to break the rules and they just need to own breaking the rules. So Carnival either needs to, to fix this problem. I'm trying to fix the problem. I'm a uniter, not a divider. Trying to fix the problem here today. So Carnival either needs to remove the rule that says you can't wear baseball hats in the MDR or they need to enforce the rules. There's plenty of places that you can wear a hat uh, on the cruise ship, but they've chosen to make it a rule that you can't wear a baseball cap in the main dining room. So they need to enforce that, right? Because there's a, you know, there was a news story out just recently that they're heavily enforcing smoking rules, actually putting people off ship for breaking those rules. They'll confiscate your liquor if you break that rule. Uh, if you get in a fight, there's a rule that will take effect. So why have some rules that you enforce and some rules that you don't? Uh, it seems inconsistent, and I think that's where a lot of this tension comes from. So you either uh, change the rule, you either enforce the rule, or... And this is my solution. You guys can thank me later. I think that Carnival should have dinner hats. Now, I know everybody, well, I don't know everybody. I'm kind of an older guy. But I remember seeing TV shows and movies where some guy rushes to a restaurant to, to find his love before she gets out of town. And the maitre d's like, oh, sir, this is a jacket required. And the guy's like, I don't have a jacket. What am I going to do? I'm trying to save my lost love before she goes off to another country. And the guy's like, don't worry, we have jackets on demand. Let me slip this on you so that you can go into the restaurant. It's a perfect solution. So that is what I think Carnival should do. I think up front at the maitre d', they should have a dinner hat. Now this is a baseball hat, it's a hockey hat. You can't wear it, it's gone. But what am I to do? If I wanna wear my hat, look, look, I got head head. If I wanna wear my hat, what am I to do? Well, you might've missed it on my last cruise. I know I did. This is where Old Blue comes in. Look at this. Not a baseball hat, right? So I'm not breaking the rules. I still get to wear my hat. It's not a baseball hat. I am following the rules. I think it's the perfect solution. So this is my plea to Carnival. Change the rules, enforce the rules, or invest in some hats so that when somebody is uptight, uh, they, or, or somebody wants to wear a hat, or somebody's uptight about a baseball hat, you can present them with the dinner hat. It's a little longer, Dear John, than we normally go through. I normally don't give my opinion, but I thought that this solution was so stellar that I had to bring it to you. I had to, plus I wanted to wear old blue. All right, what do you think? Uh, and don't be mean to people that don't believe like you. Come up with a, a logical argument. The argument for me is, I feel like I should be able to break the rules. That's number one. Argument number two is, I feel like you should not break the rules. All right, and then argument number three is I feel like I should change the rules. It doesn't have anything to do with the character of the person that has a different opinion with you. That's why we have rules, because people don't agree. So be nice to each other, but is there a better solution for it? What do you think? Change the rules, enforce the rules, or get a nice hat for everybody? That's what I think. All right, that is Dear John. I am Tony with La Lita Loki. If you like this video, <clears throat> crush the like button. It helps me out. It makes my day. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't say much more than that. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, uh, hit the subscribe button with a notification on and uh, come visit us over at La Lita Loca or any of the social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, look for La Lita Loca and come join the, the La Lita Loca cruising community. It's where the Loca fam lives and uh, you can get into all this all the time. Again, my name's Tony. I'm with La Lita Loca and until the next time,
Yeep. I'll see you on the Lido.